okay, sometimes when you look at a used vehicle, you don't have a lot of time to figure out what's going on and why they're selling it. So I wanted to show you guys a quick and easy way that you can tell if possibly the head gasket is blown. One way you can tell is by removing the uh, oil fill cap, oil fill plug. Right there you see on the top like a frothy foam. Here's a better picture of it right here. As you can see there's like, uh, it looks like like a milkshake on top of the on the bottom of the uh, oil fill cap. What that is is oil and coolant or water um, mixing and it condenses at the highest point of the engine. So you'll see that that's one of the symptoms. Another symptom that you're going to see is uh, and it's fairly easy to check. Well, it is very easy to check. Is pull the uh, oil dipstick out. All right. What you're going to see is it looks like a milkshake, like a chocolate milkshake. It's not supposed to look like that. Trust me. Um, another symptom is going to be overheating and obviously white smoke out of the tailpipe. So let me show you what uh, what a, a blown head gasket looks like when it's mixed with uh, coolant and engine oil. So right there you can see it looks brown and nasty. It just doesn't look right at all. And I'll show you what engine oil should look like on a dipstick here in a second. Let's see how it looks like a nasty chocolate milkshake. Shouldn't look like that. So right here I'm showing you what good clean engine oil should look like on a dipstick. That is what you should see is the color of honey when you check your uh, oil on a dipstick. So if you don't have very much time to look at a vehicle and you see these symptoms or you think you have a blown head gasket and you see these symptoms, um, walk away unless you want to do a head job. Also another thing you're going to notice is that the coolant uh, in the reservoir bottle or if you have access to the actual radiator cap, it's getting low. It, it comes down, it gets low over time. So right there I'm trying to show you that uh, the uh, reservoir coolant bottle is low on coolant. So there you guys go. Hope this helps you out. If you can, please subscribe to Bunny's Garage on YouTube. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.